After winning the 2014 municipal election, Hamilton is pleased to welcome Fred Eisenberger back into office. Uh, it's, a, it's a great privilege and honor to, uh, to have a second opportunity at uh, leading the city and uh, I'm just thrilled, thrilled. I mean, I, I, I have a passion for this city, always have had. Uh, I didn't want to leave last time and uh, I'm happy that uh, the voters have decided that uh, I get another, another opportunity. Because Hamilton's location is very central to a large industrializing market, graduating students should have plenty of job opportunities close to home. Prosperity really lies with how much business we can attract here and how many jobs we can provide for people that are in our institutions right now uh, doing a whole lot of learning. We want to make sure that that learning translates into viable jobs here in Hamilton, not necessarily somewhere else. A number of initiatives have taken place to strengthen the vitality of the downtown core. However, poverty is still an ongoing concern in Hamilton. We have to tackle the issue. I mean, it's a growing problem. It's not a shrinking problem. We have more people living at or below the poverty line today than we've had in the past. And, uh, and, and we can't, in my view, we can't allow that to continue to happen. Uh, I don't think it's socialism. I think it's a rational approach to making sure that, uh, that people have you know, quality of life and productive life, and that they're able to contribute to, uh, to society uh, no matter what station in life they're at. So uh, it's a, it's a long-term goal for me to kind of start working on creating those, those partnerships that really start to address the very core issues as to why this is happening. Hamilton has, uh, has actually advocated making Hamilton the best place to raise a child, which really talks about ensuring that we can help families break the cycle of poverty by ensuring that kids can go to school, get the proper food and nutrition, get the, the education that will help them break the cycle. Mayor Eisenberger hopes to educate young adults on the municipal voting process here in Hamilton. My, my hope is that I sit down with the Board, board of Education and talk to them about uh, how do we introduce uh, every election a process where all of the students, no matter where they are in their educational process from 1 through 12 and beyond, that they, they spend a day or two finding, about, finding out about candidates and, um, and finding out the differences between the parties, wherever, whatever the election is, and then voting. Uh, making a choice and you know wh whether or not it counts doesn't really matter it's just a matter of getting them engaged and getting them to understand what the importance of the political process is what the candidates are saying um, online voting for the, this generation I think should make it easier for them I mean it's certainly the, uh, the the method of communication that's prevalent so we need to get that in place as many Hamiltonians look forward to the Pan Am games next summer Mayor Eisenberger outlines solutions for the increased traffic flow when we see that traffic in a particular area is getting rather heavy we can you know open up the traffic lights and let it flow through and uh, when we see it's uh, very late in some other areas we can slow that down and, uh, and make make the uh, the opportunities in some area uh, make, better flow. So there's things that we can do. Uh, I, I think it'll all be fine. I think uh, it's the kind of vitality that we want to have in our city. We want all those people to come. We want them to enjoy our hotels and the stadium and the games that are going to happen here. And uh, we will find ways to make sure that it's free flowing and public transportation is critically part of that. Reporting for Ignite News, I'm Laura Donna Del Bello.